Hello, and welcome to Advanced Computer Vision Projects with Python 3, the second course in a two-part series. I'm your instructor, Matthew Reaver. Just quickly about me, I'm an image processing and computer vision engineer at a major national laboratory where I use Python to solve scientific problems. So let's talk about what we'll learn in this course. In this course, we're going to go beyond what we learned in the first part, and we're going to start with image captioning with TensorFlow, which is somewhat of an extension of the last part of the last course, which we covered image classification in TensorFlow. This is a bit more advanced where we're going to get more detailed English language descriptions of what's going on rather than just single words or just you know, compound words or phrases with what's going on. You'll see what that means more specifically when we start on that section. Then we're going to move on to license plate reading with OpenCV. That section's a little bit different in that we're not going to be using uh, machine learning quite as much, but should give a lot of helpful information about how you can use classical image processing and computer vision techniques to solve real-world problems. And finally, we're going to cover human body pose estimation in TensorFlow. And that's an extension of kind of the second project we did in the first part, where we did facial recognition and kind of facial landmark estimation. This uh, is going to be a little bit more challenging in that we're going to estimate human body poses, which are a, a lot more flexible than facial recognition. So this is going to require some more deep learning and some more advanced techniques. But we'll see how we can do this with some uh, ready-to-go code. So prerequisites, very similar to the first part, knowledge of Python, Python scientific libraries like NumPy and Matplotlib, experience with basic image processing and computer vision, Machine learning experience is helpful, but not necessary. And I recommend that you complete course one first because it kind of covers some of TensorFlow, Scikit-Learn, and OpenCV. So not absolutely necessary, but highly recommended. And with that, let's get started. 